Okay, so time for the latest video. Um, I think it's been about a week or so since the last one. I put a few posts up on the um, Project Stormtrooper and Supra Facebook page, if anybody's on there. Uh, so you would have seen a few updates over the last week or so. Um, but anybody who's just looking at the videos and a few bits and bobs here and there from other sites, uh, I'll run through what I've been doing. It's been quite a busy, busy, uh, busy week, to be fair. Um, so what I've done, as you can probably see, I've been working on the light bar design, uh, getting in the quarters and stuff, uh, making the right sort of shapes. Um, this rear splitter section has been uh, elongated basically, so basically made made taller, uh, so it comes up in a nicer shape. I was going to put some slats in here, which I don't think I mentioned in the last one, I may have done, I can't remember, um, but I'm now, now not doing that, I don't think it's going to look great, so I'm just going to put the um, Look, the registration plate in there and a nice proper light underneath. It's all going to be like lit up and look nice in there. Um, so it should look pretty pretty tasty. Uh, and obviously there'll be quad exhaust on there. That was always going to be a thing, so that should bring it up more as well. Um, I've been working on doing some of this design on the arches where it comes out. Basically the idea now, uh, well it's the same as it was before really, but it's just changed shape slightly. So obviously the spoiler comes down here and comes down the side here. Um, so that's basically like a like a one big nice sweep, which I quite like now to be honest. So that's that's cool on quite nice. I'm sort of trying to get the the symmetry of the levels relatively decent at least before the molds are done. Um, but I'm obviously I'm still in the design stages, so it's it's kind of hit and miss at the moment. But the design is pretty much there now. Um, so this side basically looks quite similar to this one. If I come to the whole back, you can see how it's kind of coming together. I'm still working on this area. You can see this area has been sanded a bit. This area hasn't, so I'm still working on this. You can see where it raises up up here, which it shouldn't do, obviously. It should be nice and flat, but obviously I haven't done that yet. Uh, and then this corner's being built into this section here. This piece is just being built up. I've not really started this one, but it needs to build it up a bit. So you can see how that's coming along. But yeah, so it's doing all right, isn't it? It looks, looks nice. Um, I've also managed to beef up this side of the split, uh, the spoiler a little bit. Oh, well, both sides had a bit of a beef up and a slight uh, change to the shape on the, the squareness of the um, how it looks on the outside from the side. See how that works. You get the idea there. So basically, it's like angled into there and then comes down on the side. That's pretty cool. Um, what I've also been doing, quite a big update here, is this side of things. So, as you can see, the subs are in now test fitted not not in fully just test fitted to make sure they, they're fitting properly the um, the box behind it is all bait has all been braced uh, fully built just needs fiberglass in now um, obviously these will come out shortly to fiberglass it but at the same time I'll be fiberglassing all these trim panels and things all along here making them in trim panels all along the sides so obviously they're, they're, they're being done at the moment but looking quite good though this will all be nice and fiberglass and Look nice in the end it might be done in leather finally i'm not entirely sure of Some, something anyway um these are basically i'm going to run through it these have been provided by um anyone who knows him ian pinder the ice man um a lot of people might know him from max power magazines and stuff like that um but uh yeah he's basically provided these um they are base face indy s12 what are they called base face indy s12 um subs 1300 watts rms each um which is quite quite nice and i'm going to be running them sealed which is quite rare these days most people obviously tend to go ported uh but it's going to make a nice uh it's going to be kind of like a cone area over loudness kind of thing it's going to be sort of i don't know 145 to 150 db if i'm lucky um and that's uh that should be quite nice obviously 1300 watts rms each um i'm going to be wanting to put more than that through it just to get a nice bit of punch out of it so to do that I've also got one of these, um, a base face Team 8000 X1, again from uh, from the Iceman, uh, who's also part of uh, Team Ice, if you don't already know. Um, I just want to give him a shout out on this video, basically, because he's, uh, he's done me a right favour on this. Um, but uh, but yeah, I've got basically an 8000 watt amp, 8000 watts RMS, um, runs up to 16 volt, yeah, which is good because I'll be having lithium cells in here. Um, and for the Eagle Eye, well, if anybody's worked it out already, six of those, they're dual 2 ohm each, uh, don't run on this amp, technically, because um, you basically have, have to have it as uh, 1 ohm minimum. 
and it's obviously going to be way less than that or way more than that so it's not going to work so uh, if anybody's figured it out yet I'm going to be running another one I've got two of them so 16,000 watts RMS I've run it at 1.33 ohm per amp so around about seven seven and a half thousand RMS roughly um, so that's going to be fun isn't it uh, but these amps are going to be basically fitted in the back um they they're a nice amp basically it's it's uh i think it's a brand new model actually i don't think it's i don't think it's been out that long probably six months or so um so that's uh that's gonna be a nice uh nice nice sort of setup basically with that and the subs together obviously eventually i'll be getting uh new components in here uh i might change the position I'm not sure yet they might go in the kicks or they might stay here i'm not sure still got tweeted positions on the on the dash as normal um i'll probably go for two sets rather than one uh, I may even go for three. We'll see how it goes. See how much I need. Uh, for anybody else, for anybody else who saw things before, there was a load of sticker bomb on here. So all this is covered in sticker bomb. So Moshi Monster, basically this sticker bomb. This is still on there, of course. That's all going. Uh, but you can see, I'm I'm starting to take it off as I'm going round. Um, so all this on the dash, um, all the sections around it. So obviously it's all cracked and glued and stuff. It doesn't matter. It's all going to be re rebuilt nicely. That screen's coming out. That little screen doesn't work anyway so I'm going to get rid of it I'll do something else with that uh, the seats out at the moment you can see it's a bit of a state currently you can you can see how uh, how, how bad it can be but um, you get the idea ignore the black um, black windows they won't be there they were painted black madness on over there you go but yeah I'm basically yeah, I'm getting rid of all the sticker bomb um, I don't know what to do about the the flip paint side of things I might even leave those in because I quite like them and they're not damaged or anything much so we'll see how they're looking at the end and make a decision but yeah, that's where I am. So I've basically been doing bodywork and um, and audio and woodwork and a bit of fiberglass and a bit of all sorts going on in this week. So productive, um, speeding along as always. But feel free to um, to comment. Obviously, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you uh, if you haven't already to keep up date, keep the keep up to date on stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, feel free to to let me know what you think and uh, any improvements you can see. Any bits and bobs. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll do another video end of next week probably now.